Welcome back to another episode of Found But Still Lost. We're going across the border. Come along with us. We made it. We're almost at Target right now and everything is nearby. There's a Marshalls, there's a Crumble, there's an Ulta that Kyra wants to go to for makeup. There's so much stuff. So excited. We're sweating though, because we were really scared. After a pretty big lineup, but a relatively short wait, wait? <laughs> Kyra and I secured our crumbled cookies. And then we headed over to fill our bellies up at the Olive Garden. Cause what else do Canadians do when we go to the States? I don't want to use all the sauce though on my bread snack. I don't know about you, but all I had today to eat was, well, Devin's cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, I can go on. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. I'm dead. I'm just dead. Anybody remember Caboodles? Okay. My like 13 year old self would have loved this one. Okay, so Trader Joe's was a huge hit, but I was way too excited to film in there and it was way too busy. So I will show you my fall when we get, or my haul when we get home. Okay, so Kyra and I just got back from our trip over to Niagara Falls, New York, where we went to Target, Crumble, um, a Christmas store, Barnes and Noble, Trader Joe's, and the Olive Garden. So, for my unhauling, because I think that's kind of hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. Okay. Let's try cookie first. These cookies are from Crumble. And when you order them, like they were very expensive. Four cookies were like 20 bucks, which is stupid. But when you order them, they make them hot. They call your name and they show you the order to make sure that you're satisfied with the cookies that you're getting. Jeez. So we got a peanut butter one with like M&M's in it. Huge. And we got a chocolate chip one that's like the size of your face. It smells good. It does smell good. Which one do you want to try first? That one. Okay. Maybe you should hold that up to the camera so they can see what it looks like. Want me to cut it in half? No. I just want to bite. I don't want to hold a half. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah? Mm. Oh my god. They were warm when they gave them to us. Oh. Okay, I'm out. Oh, oh. Why? Well, I want to show you what I got. So, we were really nervous crossing the border too. Um, there was a couple cars in front of us where it looked like someone was denied and had to go back and plus it was just like absolute chaos getting onto the rainbow bridge so we were scared i was going to get turned away because i am not fully vaccinated but they didn't even ask so i got this cute little pumpkin at um the christmas store and that's all i got at the christmas store now, I better have one more bite of the cookie before I talk more. <laughs> cookie meat. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's really good. Like, I will say, like, Target was underwhelming. It was a mess. It looked like a tornado had gone through there. 
And even um, local people were commenting on how like crazy it was. I don't know why I have, oh, that's a Trader Joe bag. Okay. So I got my Diet Snapple peach juice, which was a staple when we used to cross the border all the time. I got Mexican rice, chicken flavored, and it looks delicious. We had this before too, but I love it. I got these really cute jars. They're mason jars with like lines on them and they have gold lids. They look super cute. And I got Junior Mints, but they're not just regular Junior Mints. The inside is orange and the outside is a chocolate. And then because they started with their Christmas shenanigans over at Target, I also bought some reindeer. These little guys were $3, but I thought they looked good on a bathroom shelf that I have. And then for up north, I got us the teeniest tiny drying rack that I think I've ever seen, but I think it's perfect for us because we don't usually have a ton of just dishes, but we need somewhere to put them and allow them to dry. So we got that. Now, Trader Joe's. This was the holy grail of the trip. It was my most exciting part of the trip. I don't know that Kyra actually felt the same way. I think she was excited about checking out a makeup store, Ulta, but she didn't end up buying anything there. Um, but I still think it was like one of the things that she wanted to see. She did find a few things at Target that she wanted to get, but they were kind of pricey. And I feel like I might have talked her out of them a little bit. So I feel bad because we had absolutely, absolutely no problem coming back into Canada. It was a breeze. Okay, Trader Ho, Trader Ho, Trader, Trader Joe, Joe, Trader Joe haul. Okay, I got these savory thin crackers to go with some cheese that you will see later. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is my favorite part. <laughs> I got pumpkin spice. Um, they're like baton cookies. Matt really likes the chocolate ones and I thought we'd try pumpkin spice. I got um, raisin rosemary crisps. To be honest, I didn't notice that it said raisin, <laughs> but I love rosemary. So I'm gonna try this with some cheese that I bought that you'll see. I got, now don't make fun of me for saying this, but Cacio Pepe puffs. They're cheese and pepper puffs. I can't wait to try these. Do you wanna try these, babe? Never know. Okay. I got, Cinnamon roll drizzled granola. It's supposed to taste like a cinnamon roll, obviously, but it's baked granola. And this is a uh, Trader Joe brand. I got, okay, now I don't know what this flavor means at all, so it could be absolute shit. I have no idea. Yuami <laughs> flavored corn chips. It says sweet, savory, and delicious. So I got those. It has a mushroom on the back, so maybe it's a mushroom flavor. I don't know. I got dark chocolate covered mini pretzels. And we'll wait for Nixon to stop. I got organic corn chip dippers. Honestly, I could have spent like so much money just on dip. I got Taya, these chickpeas, cause I feel like she'd really like them. Um, they're parsley and cumin chickpeas. One thing that they also had, but I wasn't sure on what to get was um, they had grape leaves, like lots of different flavors, but I didn't know what you would like. <coughs> so I didn't get any cause I was, they were kind of expensive, so I didn't get them. 
but I got the chickpeas for Taya. I got the strawberry juice beverage. I heard that this is really good. This one I saw on TikTok, so I grabbed it. It's Trader Joe brand. I got their peanut butter cups, the milk chocolate ones. I didn't get the dark chocolate, which would have been healthier, but they look delicious. And I got roasted red pepper soup. And I also got something to go with that soup. Oh, it's right on top too. Cheese tortellini to go in the soup. I thought that would be a delicious, easy meal, possibly for next weekend when we go grab the bowler. Okay. Now it's the stuff from the fridge. I got almond croissants. These look really good. Trader Joe brand almond croissants. You stick them in the oven. They're fluffy goodness, I think. I got herb goat cheese. Yeah. Creamy, fresh chive goat cheese. I got Greek yogurt, strawberry vanilla flavored. Now Matt's gonna take one of these to work tomorrow for lunch, so I hope you like this. Yeah. I got peanut butter squash, or peanut butter, butternut squash mac and cheese. And it looks just so freaking good. I got the stewed chicken soup dumpling. And apparently you heat these up and you bite them and the soup is already in the dumpling. What is he doing? Play. Oh. I got bread cheese. And this cheese, you just bake and then you can eat it either on bread or slice it up and eat it. It's supposed to be crunchy, I guess. I got buffalo chicken dip which looks really good and i think i might use the corn chips for that now i was looking for the pumpkin version of these but they didn't have it so i just got the cinnamon rolls i got herb and garlic trader joe brand pizza dough which we will be eating very soon. Maybe not tonight. I got crumbled feta cheese with Mediterranean herbs. I got gnocchi, the cacio pepe. I don't know why they say it like that, but I got two of these. And I got some mozzarella to put on our pizza. <coughs> and I think that's it. That's everything I got. That's my haul. And I feel good about it. I'm really excited to try everything. What do I wanna try first? A peanut butter cup. I'm gonna try a peanut butter cup. Do you wanna try one? Not right now. Okay, so these are the peanut butter cups. They look pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, Matt, these are really good. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. You wanna try a bite of mine? Sure. Come over here. <laughs> it's like the perfect amount of peanut butter and chocolate. Mm. Right? No, yeah, those are good. Those are really good. Mm. That's these guys. Damn. They're so good. They are good. Okay, now what else should I try, babe? Ooh, let's try one of these. This is the Cacio Pepe, and I'm, I know I'm probably butchering the name, but it's basically cheese and pepper, corn and rice snack.
Oh my God. <laughs> These are life changing. I wish I would have grabbed like five bags of them. And I want to say they were like under $3 a bag. Oh, let me try them. They're really freaking good. Oh, catch your Pepe. Oh, catch your Pepe, Pepe. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to open everything now. I know, I'm not gonna. I think that's it. That's it. I'll update you as we try stuff. Probably on my Instagram page or possibly on my TikToks, but I'm thinking probably Instagram. I'll probably do little bits and pieces as we make stuff. Um, it is Monday of the long weekend, so chances are I am not, um, I am not going to make a lot of this stuff like, um, like I'm not gonna make cinnamon buns until possibly the weekend soup maybe but yeah anyways i had a blast um i wish i would have filmed more while i was in stores i was a little intimidated and honestly i was so nervous to go across the border that my nerves were just kind of shot it was my first time in three years yeah like three years so i was n really nervous so yeah, I apologize. Next time I actually make another trip, I will film more of it. Target was such a mess that I didn't want to film it. It was kind of gross. Um, but other than that, everything was, <coughs> excuse me, it's the pepper from the Cacio Pepe. Um, other than that, everything was super fun, super good. I had really great company. Um, yeah, it was great. I was a, it was a great day. Ooh, I'm gonna try these too, cause these seal. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try these before I say goodbye. Now these are dark chocolate. So dark chocolate isn't everyone's jam, but. Mm. I think I prefer them dark chocolate. I won't eat the whole bag at once. So. Wanna try one? These aren't like wow, but they're they're good. I wouldn't specifically go to Trader Joe for these. Oh my god, I can't wait. I really wanna. I really wanna try that. Mmm. Do you wanna try that? Do you want? I do. What do you think would go best with it with chip? Corn chips or the Unami flavor? Corn chips. These ones? Okay. The corn chip is. Nixon's like, what the hell is that? Babe, can you open it? open. I know. I don't know what to use for these. You can do it like that. Oh, it's simple. Kind of, what is it? Buffalo chicken. What? I don't know if I like it with corn chips though. What, what else could you use it? Try the other chips. <laughs> is that a, I don't even know what that is. Must be a mushroom. mushroom. Well, open her up. No, it says Japanese word for savory taste. Probably made from mushrooms. Ooh, that's spicy. Ooh. I like it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I kind of want to try one without anything on it. 
Wow. Good? Yeah. You don't need anything on these. I'll try that. I think this would be good with guac. Oh, it tastes good with that. Better than a corn chip. I agree. One more. I'm melting on fire. Yeah, one more. Mmm. That's good. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. Now that my mouth is on fire, I'm gonna try one of these too. <laughs> Thought you were done trying. Okay, I'm trying one of these. I can't help it. My mouth is on mouth is on fire. Oh, it smells like amazing. Oh, fuck. Come here, you need to try this one. Okay, Matt used to like get a heart on for anything strawberry. This is gonna blow your mind. It's not blowing my mind. Seriously? No, it's good. It's good. Mm. I'm, I'm still got the buffalo chicken too. <laughs> That's good. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna sign off. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. We're gonna have lots more adventures to come. The bowler's getting put away. There's just lots of action going on. And then before you know it, it's gonna be winter, which I hate to say. So yeah, stay tuned and we'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye.